second tune then is the the Caja Mountains. The Caja Mountains of Bear, Bear, the Bear Peninsula down in West Cork, where, where I come from. And, and uh, see how it goes. In it. My father <clears throat> played the fiddle and an accordion as well. He, he was one of the old style fiddle players. Talk to me about your mother, uh, your mother's background in, in traditional music. No, well, was, uh, her name was Kathleen McCarthy. She was from a little area there called Kill, Kill Catherine. Love listening to her humming tones right. when I was a child, really like that. And uh, <coughs> really, I never heard anything so sweet, I think, as her humming of tunes wow. when I was a child. I think, you know, so I think like we, we would have brought a lot of the music from her, yeah, as well as my dad. Like, and so. I left home then when I was 21 to go to Dublin to join the Garvey and uh, a whole new world of music opened up for me when I came to Dublin. The Castle Cayley Band uh, oh, yeah. come about then. Uh, yeah, the, well, about that. Michael, to, Michael, Michael, uh, Nick O'Connor, mm. that uh, invited me first to join them, you know, and uh, that was about in 1963, maybe. Uh, and um, <clears throat> and uh, they didn't have a, a full band at the time, there were about six of their boats like that, you know, and, uh, and then the following year, then I went to, uh, I was in Cabin at the time, I went down to Wexford like that, you know, but I, I, I was keeping touch with them, keeping touch with me as well, like for, you know, to join them for competitions and things like that, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. But it was a, that was a lovely experience, actually, you know. Right. They were all young fellas <laughs> the time as well, like, and full of life. Composed before I left home. Yeah. And I composed um, a few tunes now before I left home. The, that set dance, the fall, the fall of Dunboy. I composed that when I was 17. Yeah. And that reel that's kind of known now as John Doyle's reel. I composed that before I left home. So like that, so. And it's maybe a jigger shows then. of tunes, I have a habit of writing out, you know, if I, I'm inspired to write a, a tune, there are notes going through my head, for instance, like, and I would write, uh, write, uh, write out uh, maybe the first few bars, and then I say to myself, I'll finish it off tomorrow or some other day like that, and whatever, laugh that stuff written out. people are uh, like inclined to be emotional and they're they're the very people that will pr produce the best tunes really that you know because they're they're, they're going to put something something that touches them deeply what advice would you give to someone who wants to compose oh, yes. uh, tunes that, that fit yeah. into Irish traditional music yeah. or oh, I'd say um, stay with it believe in yourself really and uh, we are 
I think a lot of the musicians anyway are intended to be emotional people like that and just give full of into your emotions. I think, I think we've brought it all up, more or less up to date. Uh, but I think, you know, people that are composing like that, I think that they shouldn't be shy about, about letting their emotions come out through their music.